Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. My name is Norman Meir and I'm a Certified IPC Master Instructor for Soldering Skills. Today's tip is the installation and soldering of an O603 chip component using the point-to-point -point soldering technique. We are creating the solder joints to the IPC 610 Class 1, 2, and 3 target conditions. I will be using a .020 diameter lead-free solder SN96.3 AG3 CU.5 RMA solder along with an external RMA flux. The soldering tip I've chosen is a wedge tip. It will cover 50 to 75 percent of the land area as I am showing here. The site has already been cleaned and prepped using alcohol and chem wipes. Next thing you need to do is turn on your iron so that after your proper orientation your tip will be at the operating temperature to get a quality wetting action between board and part. Apply flux using a small squeeze bottle with a small nozzle to clean the tip of any residue against a moist sponge and ensure that you are working with a clean tip. Place a pair of tweezers or an orange wood stick on top of the part to hold it in place during the tacking process just like so. Once you've seen the wetting action, you can remove your soldering iron and the tweezers away. And what I like to do a lot of times is just push on the part to make sure it is tacked into place, just like so. Next, we're going to solder the part into place. Clean your tip again of any excess residue against a damp sponge. Lay your solder about 25% of the width of the part would give you a nice contact angle. Hit the pad, slide it in, and bring it back out. Again, about 25% width of the part. You can hit the pad and slide it into the part and back out. Get in, get out, don't hang out is my motto. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to clean the area with alcohol. Now return the soldering iron to the station, making sure the tip is pre tinned As a final step, make sure to grab your acid brush after immersing it in alcohol and clean the site. Recommend put your board up at an angle just like so. If you notice with the lead free solder it won't be as smooth and as shiny. It almost looks like a cold solder joint in appearance but you've got nice wetting action from the edge of the pad all the way to the top of the part. Nice contact angle. Thanks and have a great day. This is Norman Meir with Best Incorporated.